let's get started with writing code inside of our Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter is a read, eval, print, loop uh, programming environment. And what that means is you can write in some code here. Uh, the, the kernel will read in the code and evaluate it and then print the results on the screen. So if you did something like print hello world, when I hit shift return, it'll evaluate the code or I can hit the run button. It will evaluate the code in this cell and the result will appear underneath. So we can also do things like, you know, it's Python. This is Python, so we can write variables, right? So we could say um, and then in the second line, we could say print and it works. Um, what we can also do is we can build on top of things that have happened in the previous cells. So we could do so we could actually now in another cell print hello world. Or, you know, we can go a little bit further. We could do sum is equal to four plus four, right? So that has the value of eight. And now we can say print And so this is an F statement. And what it is doing is it's going to print out the value of sum is and then refer to the variable sum, which has the value eight inside of it. Uh, this is super valuable because, of course, now uh, what we can do is part of that read eval loop. We can access the variables that were created earlier in our runbook. If one cell evaluate it completes an API call, a subsequent cell could actually process that API call.